How would you feel if you knew that you were more engaging or interesting as a presenter? Well, that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video today. Now, to celebrate the launch of my new online program, Public Speaking for Professionals, which is everything that you need to know to be a better presenter, whether that's in front of a big group or whether it's just in front of a couple of people. It is all the tools and skills that you need to know to become a much better presenter. Well, to celebrate the launch of that program, I'm going to share with you one of the modules from that program. It is on the screen behind me right here. That is me in exactly the same shirt as I've just realized. But I'm going to hand over to this version of Anthony, who's going to share with you one of the modules. The entire program runs for just over, over three hours. It is jam-packed. It is, it is what you need to know. There is no fluff, no filler. It is what you need to know to become a much better presenter. If after watching you think, wow, that course looks particularly interesting, then I will leave a link in the description below. But enjoy. And I'll see you in a minute, just here. So how can we be more engaging as presenters? Now, the key to this, I feel, comes down to speaking to the audience rather than speaking at the audience. And what I mean here is I'm sure that you've had the experience where you've been watching someone deliver a speech or they've, they're giving a presentation, maybe they're pitching an idea, and it feels like they're just trying to ram information down your throat. And this, it feels like you're back in the classroom. There's no connection between you and that person, between you and that content. And so that content is kind of falls on deaf ears, to be honest. So what we want to work on as presenters is to be more engaging, to, to be aware of the, how we're presenting our information so that it can connect with the audience. Now, I mentioned earlier on that I don't like scripting. And one of the reasons for this is because when you script and you remember your speech word for word, it can come across to the audience like you are just reciting a script where you were reciting a bunch of words that you've remembered. So there isn't a connection. We need to be present in the moment. We need to feel the energy of the room. There'll be times when you want to be a bit more fun. And so you'll, you, so you'll, you'll adjust your, your presentation style to, to create that fun, that energy in the room. But then it might come to a part where maybe you have to deliver some really important information. All right, there is some data that you need to share. And so you'll change your presentation style to be a, a bit more deliberate in making the energy of right, this, bit's, this bit's really important. We had some fun over there, but now this bit's really important. So being able to adapt your delivery style. Another thing that I see that, that is really disengaging for an audience is when you have slides and, you, and the, the speaker up on stage is reading the slides verbatim. The words that are on the slide, they read them to the audience. We don't need to be doing that. And with regards to slides, while I'm not gonna go into, into that within this program, just a quick tip with slides is you don't want to fill your slides up with loads and loads of information where people are squinting in the audience. You want to be making your slides as simple as possible so that people, so it's just got the key information so that when people can see those slides, they just get those key bits of information that they need. Now, okay, I appreciate you might be delivering information where there is a lot of data and there are graphs that are needed, but just think, how could you simplify this down? But anyway, let's go back to being engaging. So you need to be present, you need to be in the moment. You need to change your style of delivery depending upon what, what, what feeling you're trying to create in the room. And you'll be adjusting that as you go through your presentation. You also want to be aware of things that are happening in the room. There, I remember when I was working on a cruise ship once and the captain has has the override button of the ship. He, if he presses this button, his voice comes out in every single cabin, in every single room throughout the entire ship. The captain has that power. Anyway, I was doing a show one of the evenings and I was probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes into the show and all of a sudden we had ping pong, this is your captain speaking and he came through the tannoy because he had to deliver this message. It was about the fact that we were gonna be ending up in some, some quite big swell later on that evening. But that message lasted for a few minutes. Now, this was quite awkward because I'd already started my show. We were right in the middle of things. Amazing things are about to happen in my mentalism show. And so it was this moment. I could feel that the, my voice gets completely cut out. I'm in a theater with 800 people in it and my voice suddenly gets cut out. And I can see that the audience, while they're listening to the captain, they're looking at me, sort of going, well, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? So what I ended up doing was I lied, I just laid down on the stage. I lied down, I laid down on the stage and just sort of like, almost like I was whistling, waiting for the captain to finish. Once he finished his, his, his little piece, I then stood up and went, well, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? And then I carried on with the show. But what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make with this is sometimes things will happen during your presentation. And it's, it's really important that you are human 
And if that is quite a big moment that everybody notices, you almost want to acknowledge it. You don't want to brush over it. Now, one thing that I will say here is if I'm doing a show, for example, and somebody in the front row heckles me and I hear the heckle, but it's a really big room and nobody else hears the heckle, then there will be times when I know that I just need to brush over things and not draw too much attention to it. But you do want to be aware of what is going on around you. If you're in a room and it's really hot, everyone's starting to sweat, you almost want to, you almost want to mention it. You want people to feel like they're not having a rehearsed script read out to them. You want them to feel like this is fresh, this is in the moment. So next time you're giving a presentation, just, just think about being present in the room. Think about what is the energy that you want to create at this time? What's the feeling that you want to create in the room at this point in time? And adapt your delivery style to suit. And if something happens, if you feel that you need to draw, draw attention towards it or at least acknowledge that thing has happened, then by all means do that. Don't be so rigid that it feels like you are just trying to drive information down people's throats. People are going to connect with you more when they feel like you're a real human. 